So you're 19 years old. Yeah. And you've made what? $35,000 in three months running a web development agency in which you had zero previous experience. Correct. So this device right here is called a Newton's Cradle. And this device is actually the perfect metaphor for explaining how you can make this year your highest income year ever. Now, if you've never seen one of these before, it's basically just a pendulum with several metal balls. And when you pull one ball back and release it, one ball on the opposite side will start swinging. It's a powerful demonstration of energy and how every action that you take in your life will have some type of reaction. Now, I know what you're thinking, but how does does this thing relate to me making more money this year? Well, let me explain. It all starts with the initial push. In the cradle, one ball must be pulled back and released to then create a ripple of energy that causes a reaction on the other side. In other words, the action creates a reaction. And success is the same way. Success requires an initial push, an action that sets things in motion in your life. If all you're doing is the same thing every single day, then your results will be very predictable. Nothing will ever change in your life. Just just like if you were to leave this device alone and never touch it, nothing would ever move. The metal balls will stay still forever. You have to physically take the action of moving one of the balls to then create the change. Back when I was working a job that paid me only $15 per hour, I remember buying a whiteboard and writing my goals on that whiteboard. Because I believe that the act of simply writing a goal down is very important for you actually accomplishing that goal. Now, I can't explain to you what the science is behind all of that and if it actually does something to you mentally, but I do believe that it's very, very important and so you have to write your goals down the goal that I wrote down on my whiteboard was specifically to make one million dollars per year in income and in order to do that I knew that I had to do something to start creating more opportunities in my life because it wasn't enough just to wake up every day and go to my job because this would be equivalent to you never touching the cradle if you never reach for that change then nothing will ever change in your life and so over the course of the next couple of years I started a few different side hustles and businesses and I ended up quitting my nine-to-five job that was only paying me $15 per hour and I just simply took a leap of faith so a little bit over two months ago uh, you decided to take the leap of faith and start a new project specifically a web development agency why I guess I can say that has pushed me to do it is the fact that I I don't have a plan B. That's why I didn't go to college. If I were to go to college, I probably wouldn't be putting that much effort knowing that if it fails, at least I got a degree. And that's kind of what puts the fire on me to just like, you mm -hmm. have no choice but to do it. So I just knew if I do this right and I just give it my all, this might not take me from point A to point Z, but I did know that it was gonna be a very pivotal and a very big step and advancing towards, you know, the goals that I have in place for myself. Now, after that initial push, when you decide to finally start taking action toward achieving a goal, in this case specifically to start making more money, something incredible starts to happen. Every small action that you take creates a ripple effect and you start to slowly gain momentum. Going back to the cradle example, when you take the action of pulling one ball back, and releasing it, it then creates a ripple of energy. And this chain reaction continues with each ball transferring its energy to the next ball. And likewise, all of the actions that you take in your life, no matter how small they are, will create a ripple effect. Your actions create energy. Each step that you take, every amount of effort that you put in to achieving your goals builds upon the previous one, which pushes you closer to actually achieving your goals. I've started so many different side hustles and businesses over the past decade of my life. And honestly, many of these things that I started felt like a waste of time, especially in the moment when they weren't working out. But there was something happening a lot bigger behind the scenes that I wasn't even aware of. Each thing that I was doing, even if that thing didn't work out, was pushing me closer to my goal of eventually making over $1 million per year in income. I was learning new skills, I was being developed, I was becoming more disciplined, and all of these different things that I was trying and learning from were stacking upon the next. You release one ball, which then hits another ball, which then hits another, until eventually all of those combined efforts pay off and you're left with an accomplished goal. Now, this 
web development agency that you started wasn't like your first attempt um, at trying something, right? Like before this, you tried affiliate marketing, you started a YouTube channel, you even tried your hand at some real estate. Do you feel like all of these combined efforts were a waste of time? No. All of these things were definitely not a waste of time. Even when I was doing YouTube, like what, two years ago, when I was fully into it, it's easy for me to sometimes be like, I wish I would have started an agency back then. It, it just it just brought so many lessons, you know, because you're just fighting for something that you, you don't know if it's going to come. And if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have led into the agency. Who knows what else I would have done. I've just tried and tried things and um, this, this actually worked out for me. Now, on your journey, what you'll notice is that you will have a lot of challenges and setbacks. With the cradle, the swinging motion continues for a while, but eventually friction slows it down until it stops. But the cradle can simply be restarted with another push. There's a powerful quote that goes, a ship in a harbor is safe, but that is not what ships are built for. Ships are meant to sail the sea, where there are waves and storms and different obstacles in the way. Sometimes the ship has to divert. It has to go in a different direction or completely turn around and find a new route altogether. But that's okay, because eventually the ship will reach its destination if it just continues to sail. You have goals in your life, right? There are are things that you want to accomplish but like with anything in life you will experience challenges and setbacks so that thing that you started didn't work out and so like the ship you turn around and try and find a different route. In other words, you start something else. Maybe you start a new business or side hustle or whatever. But then that new thing that you started turned out to be way harder than you originally expected. And on top of your day job and on top of all of your other responsibilities, you start becoming mentally and emotionally drained. And you start to slow down until eventually you stop. And so what do you do? Do you just give up? and assume that success wasn't meant for you? Do you return back to the safety of the harbor, like with the ship example? Or do you simply find a different route again, start something new? On your journey to success, perseverance and resilience are key. When the cradle stops swinging, it'll stay still forever unless you physically get up and move it again. And what you'll realize is that if you just simply keep taking action and learning from all of your setbacks, that the momentum will build up again. It's a mental battle. You truly are fighting for something that you don't know if you're gonna get and when you're gonna get it. What helped me from the beginning is also understanding that I had to do what I can control, what I can take care of, and the rest will come in its own time. And if you are doing everything you can do, you will get the results that you are looking for. Now, it's easy to think that in order to become successful, you have to take massive action. You have to go and be irresponsible and quit your day job and just put all of your eggs in one basket and risk everything. But the reality is that success happens through small actions. Even a gentle push to one metal ball in the cradle sets the entire system in motion. You see, you don't have to wait for some grand opportunity to jump out in front of you. Everything that you need to be successful is already inside of you. You already have ideas and skills and passions that you can utilize to go and start something, anything. But the most important thing is simply starting with what you have today, even if that thing is really small. Every single one of you watching this video has access to a phone or a computer. And because you're watching this video, it also means that you have access to the internet. And this means that you have more opportunity to go and start something and build momentum than anyone throughout our entire existence. I say this all the time, and I don't care if there are people out there who disagree with this, those people are wrong. We have more opportunities right now, today, than any other time in history. These are facts. This is the simple truth. Three years ago, I was a freelance web developer making anywhere between $50,000 to $100,000 per year in income. And right now, just this past year alone, I made over $1.5 million in peer income. And if I can do this, then you can definitely do this. I'm telling you this right now, it is the truth. I used to look at people and hear they've made so and so amount of money. I used to be like, I can't do that. And it's just because it seems like you can't reach it, but you just gotta remember, you're seeing them now, you haven't seen their journey. And it's hard to realize that because you're just seeing them with the money, with the cars, whatever it is, because that's what they're showing you. But you just gotta remember, unless it's been passed down to them by their family, every single one of them has been in the same 
shoe. Now, I think it's gonna be very important that you remember that just like the swinging motion in the cradle slows down eventually, success is not a one-time event. It's a continuous process that requires sustained effort and perseverance. Just like you have to eventually reset the swing and pull the ball back again, you have to be willing to adapt to try new things and yes, fail. And the beauty of this metaphor of the Newton's cradle lies in its simplicity. It's a reminder that action is the catalyst for progress and that consistent effort leads to movement, which then ultimately leads to success. But the first step is simply taking the first step and then keeping that momentum going and then watching as your dreams swing into reality. So you're 19 years old. Yeah. And you've made, what, $35,000 in three months running a web development agency in which you had zero previous experience. Correct. So how did you learn how to do all this from scratch? What's actually crazy is I had no previous experience when it comes to web development and, you know, being able to grow the agency beforehand. And the way I learned was for the most part on YouTube, just watching courses and tons of practice. That's amazing. I think that you're a perfect example that anyone can achieve their goals and eventually live out their dreams if they just put in the work. And I think that both you and I are really good examples that success is possible for anyone. And for a lot of people, in my opinion, success is a lot closer than they expect. Definitely.